Good afternoon, everyone. It's been a, you know, it's been a pretty quiet period in terms of volume, especially in these last couple of months. Volume has died down big, but in terms of actual market movement, it's been quite a bit. It's been it's been moving quite a bit, definitely, and it's been pretty trendy as well. Um, not been volatile, just been movement one way. And um, the big story really is is the big move up in stocks, and I think uh, we're pretty much at year highs, especially for the Dow. Uh, DAX is above 7,000, um, FTSE is approaching 6,000 again. And the bond, especially the bond, um, has been sold off quite big. And um, we'll just look at this right now. This is a chart of the, the bond right now, and as you can see, we reached a high of 146.26 in the SET12 contract on July 23rd and basically a month later um, we've come off pretty much 500 ticks um, which is a pretty big move and this was one of the most crowded trades that there was right now you know everybody was piling into the safe government bonds and, then, and since then it's been a big unwind as people moved into stocks come out of bonds and um, we're still above 140 with yield still very very low but relative to what it was um, we pretty much put on about 400 500 basis points in 10 year in the bund so as you can see there's been a pretty um, strong downtrend right now and especially since um, the beginning of last week really when we were trading high 143s and then we've come we came up 300 ticks pretty much in that one week and um, if we look at this move down from the beginning of last week to now, um, you know, that's a 300 tick move. And if we look at the Fib levels over here, 38.2, we're looking at 141.88, and then the one uh, and 50% retrace level is 142.22. This coincides with um, another level here where we sort of um, bounced around 142.22 there as well and um, we found resistance there when we first moved up and then we almost had another double top over here too so 142.20 roughly is a pretty significant area and this will sort of um, determine whether we're going to sort of push back and move up towards towards the top end of this um, channel or um, if we're going to just continue going back down and start testing 140s again in the bund. Um Right now we're trading at 141.52. So um, it's going to be interesting. So, you know, the levels I'll definitely be looking for is um, 140.79 to downside or 142.20 to the upside. And if we break that, then I'm sort of looking for 143.64. And but to get that, then we'll probably be looking at a big um, sell-off again in the stocks, and um, pretty much this is all based on the fact that there's a lot of expectation out of uh, from the market that this Europe situation is going to be contained. That there's going to be big moves one way or another from the ECB to sort of stem the whole stem the whole tide, the deterioration of the euro and um, there's going to be a coordinated action of some sort and so come September when all the participants are back all the European ministers are back from their break if this doesn't actually materialize then I could see us coming back off um, going back up again in bonds um, but again I think everyone's sort of doubting this rally doubting this um, especially in stocks so the contrarian play would be to just keep on going long or you know not go short right now unless there's anything that warrants it so I think everybody's really wary of this so this is something that you definitely got to look out for um, if we look at the twos tens I just want to show um, the movements that we've had here and as you'd expect with the move down in the bund um, we've had a big move up in this spread as spread is widening as you'd sort of expect as the long end has been going down and um, you know like I said spread is a bit of a outright hedged outright of the bund really so if we look from the 300 point move in the bund 
that we had down from the beginning of last week in this spread we were trading at this level here 300.20 and then since then we've moved up 148 ticks this spread so it's been a pretty big move which is pretty much half the move of the bund so um, you know the peak actually was 302.42 which was actually a 220 tick move so that's almost two thirds of the move in the bund has been translated into this spread which sort of doesn't really make this a spread it's more of a hedged outright like I said but um, you can look at this to sort of give you guidance of where where we're sort of um, moving in the bund and as you can see uh, we've been in a pretty strong uptrend after after coming off quite a lot as the button has been going up and then from a low that we've had at 12.97.55 we're sort of just pushing up um, and we were trading in this sort of big band between 298.61 and 301.30 but after this next mo um, current move down we've had uh, we sort of pushed above that and sort of broke it by a hundred ticks so yeah, pretty big move over there. And this um, steeping has been translated into all um, spreads. The Euribor spreads have all moved up quite big as well. And we've moved up 3-4 ticks from last week and actually got caught in that, which was pretty, you know, it's pretty, it's quite brutal really. Normally you expect some type of pullback, but it was a one-way street all the way up, but managed to average myself out of it. But, um, Again, it's all been done on the back of small volume, very light volume happening. So, come September with the full deck of cards in the house, um, it'll be very interesting to see um, what happens from there. But anyway, um, I'll leave it here, and until then, um, good luck with your trading.